Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing okay with the illness that's going around at the moment and that you're all staying safe. It's just a reminder to wash your hands for 20 seconds with soap and hot water and to follow the latest advice on how to stay safe. But now that's out of the way. Obviously, unfortunately, our regular Monday meetings have been cancelled, but we're going to provide you with weekly videos that will detail some things you can either to do, uh, you can do to either get a badge maybe, or something that we think will be quite fun for you to do, so we can kind of just keep up cubs without actually having cubs. So this week uh, is Mother's Day. So any mothers in the room actually, if you want to get them to leave so that you don't spoil what, what was going to happen. So I'll just leave a couple of seconds then to leave. Uh, you can pause the video as well, that works. Just let them leave the room because you don't want to spoil them because it's a big surprise. Ooh. Hopefully they've left by now. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making corner bookmarks out of origami paper. So for example, I've got a book here and you can stuff it into the corner of the book and fold it. And it's cute. And it's a bookmark. You know where it is in the book. And it's great. And it's origami. And you can make it yourself. So we're going to be making these. And then here's one that I made earlier. So uh, it's nice and colourful. It's got a love heart that I stuck on the front. Balloons, confetti. Happy Mother's Day is written backwards on it because of my camera, but it's still there anyway. Um, yeah. So I'm going to show you how to make one of these. So first, what you need to do Grab a piece of paper, any A4 sheet of white paper, green paper, red paper, any coloured paper. So I use white because it's easier to decorate, but you can use any form of coloured paper. So we can use white. What you do is fold it so that you have a triangle. And then you... So you can fold it into a triangle so that the length weighs like this. Then cut out this piece of this um, rectangular piece of paper here. So grab your scissors, being careful, cut along the line so that you are left with two separate pieces of paper. One that is a square and the other is a rectangle. So you're left with this. Now with your square, keep it so it's folded into its triangle shape. Then fold both of the corners up to the top. It's like this. And then the other side. It's hard to do backwards, but um, I'll do it. Okay. So you're left by like this. So this is what it should look like from the back. This is what it looks like from the front. So it's two flaps and you can fold them back down. And that's what we're going to do. So we're going to fold them back down now, just so we have the creases there. Then taking the top piece of paper only, not the back, so you can still fold out. Fold this down. So that it goes into this like triangle crease that you've already formed. So it will go like here. And now you have this. With this flap here. And like this. So now what you do is keeping this folded, keeping this folded down. Fold these back up to the top, over the top of your newly folded um, crease. Then tuck these behind this fold. So for example, so like this. Take this and behind the fold. So you've done, I've done it with one side and you can see that it's like this. Then you can do it with the other side. So this and tuck it behind. And there we have our bookmark. So as again, I'll show you that it works. Here's, um, here's what I've made, and I'm gonna chuck it into my book. And there we have our bookmark. So it's not, doesn't stick out the top. You don't need to fold your pages to break. Instead, you can make a lovely little corner bookmark, which keeps the corner of the page safe. And make sure you need to kind of chuck a couple of pages in there to keep it uh, secure. But you have it in the book. So now comes the decorating part. So obviously for Mother's Day, so you want to do a celebration for your mum. So you remember, you still have this spare piece of paper. So what you can do is you can draw little shapes on this piece of paper, cut them out and stick them on. So that's what I did. So you can see that I've got a heart here. So I stuck, cut out a piece of a cut out heart and stuck it on the front, which is nice. And then you can use pens. You can use anything like using sellotape to stick other things on, glitter. Um, and that's why you can use different colored pieces of paper. So obviously I've used white so I can, so my colors can show up. Maybe write happy, happy Mother's Day on it. Um, obviously, 
mine is backwards because of the camera, but um, draw some hearts, confetti, whatever. It's up to you. Just make it as personal to your mum as you can, because that was what makes it really nice. So, uh, if, if you, so when you do this, uh, make sure you take, take pictures of yourself doing it and then send them to us. Because if you do that, then we can know that you've done it correctly and that you've done it, um, we can help you if you have any problems. But then if you do it, if you do do it, you can send pictures. And part of some of the badges is there's creative parts of the badges where you need to do certain crafts. And if you show that you've done an origami thing, that's one part of a badge you can tick off. And if you send that to us, then we can tick that off for you. So, um, yeah, I hope you all enjoy doing this uh, little origami craft. And uh, next week we will be doing something else. So um, have a good week.